Right, so we're going to start in developer cloud service by creating a new project. We're going to call it the SQL Dev project. It's going to be a private one. We're just going to create an empty project or maybe even a project with an initial Git repository. And it's going to be an empty repository. Let's finish. So developer cloud service goes off and provision for me a complete development platform. Know that the time right now is 2.37 up there in the clock, so I'm going to cut the video and resume two minutes later when the project is provisioned. So here is our project and our Git repository. So let's copy this one. So we're going to switch over to SQL Developer and using the team git option we're going to clone the remote repository i'm going to paste the url to the repository over here provide the username and password and create a local copy so you can specify the location over here let's create um, just the top sql directory under my desktop I um, can cancel this one. So now we actually have under my desktop a SQL directory, which right now has the SQL dev subdirectory and nothing underneath it. So let's actually populate it with some SQL files that I have. So I'm going to switch over here. I'm going to copy this directory of human resources um, SQL files into my desktop SQL, SQL dev directory. So just paste it here. Okay, uh, we can then go back here, refresh this, and we'll see all our files over here. Okay. Um, so what we actually want to do now is we want to take those files and add them to the Git repository. So over here, I right click and I choose versioning and add. Okay. It picks up all the files inside this directory. And I say, yeah, let's add all of them. So they are now in our outgoing pending changes. Okay, so those are new files, and we want to commit them into the remote repository. This is our initial version. So we're going to, um, again, right-click this directory, versioning, and do commit all. Okay, um, we can call it initial version. Okay. So this would allow me to push them to the remote repository. So the next step, versioning, push, and take all of them and to the same remote direct remote Git repository under the same user. We're going to create a master branch here. Okay, click finish. So this takes the files, push them into the remote Git repository in developer cloud service. If I go over here now and I reload this page, Okay, I can see my initial version has been created here. In fact, if I'll go over to this icon, the code icon, I can see my directory and I can see each one of my SQL files directly from here and I can browse the content of the file. Cool. So another thing that Developer Cloud Service allows me to do is track um, issues or things that we want to fix okay, or our to-do list. So I'm going to create a new issue Okay, uh, we need, for example, to fix the week, uh, the work week definition, change work hours to 8 to 5 p.m. Okay, and this is, for example, might be a task that I want to give to someone uh, with a major severity and um, all sorts of parameters that you can set here, okay? Um, and you can also say when this is going to be due. Okay, so this is due by tomorrow. And by the way, over here, you can also use agile methodology and give it a uh, complexity points or things like that. So we create an issue, okay? And um, this issue right now is not assigned, but another thing you can do here uh, is you can actually say, this is going to be assigned to Shai, who's right now the only member of this project. Right, so this way I have this type of uh, all the issues 
that we need fixed, as well as the issues that are assigned to me. Okay, and I can look at it directly from this web interface. So as a developer, I'm going to now try and fix this. Um, so we're not actually going to directly manipulate the code on the master branch, but rather we're going to create a new branch of our code. Okay, so to do that, go into versioning, okay, and say create a branch. So let's call this one the work week fix branch. Okay, this is a branch from the master. We're going to check it out like that. Okay, and then we can just go to the file that has the code that we need to change. I know it's this file, for example. And over here, you'll see that there's this check that checks for the work week. Right now, checking between 8 and 6. So we want to change it, say, 17 over here. Okay, and we can save the changes. Okay, this file is now a candidate to be uh, committed into our repository. So let's again commit this file. Okay, and say fixed the work week. Okay, and then the next after commit is of course pushing it to the central repository. Again, just going for the wizard, and we're going to create a branch over there and commit it over there. All right, so now if I go back to my home page, okay, I can see the updates that have been done. Okay, there was a task created, it was assigned to Shai, and then Shai basically did a check in of this fix. Okay, I can actually click on the check in and I can go directly to the file and I can see the changes highlighted here. Okay. Another thing that I can do in developer cloud service is conduct code reviews. So in order to do this, I need to have more than one member in my project. So let's add another member to our project. And uh, let's add um, Alex, for example, um, Alex the admin. Okay, so now we have two people working on this project. And I'm right now logged in as Shai, and Shai might want to have Alex look at his code. Okay, so he's going to do a merge request. Before we take the code and merge it into the main line of code, we want Alex to have a look at it. So we're going to say from the Git repository, we want to merge into master the changes we did on this branch. Okay. In the details, we can provide the link issue. Okay, so this is the issue that we are trying to fix. And we can say who's going to review it. So I'm going to say, Alex, can you please review it? And in description, I can say this is the issue. And then some comments. Uh, Alex, can you verify? And I created this request for a code review. So by the way, this actually sends an email to Alex. And Alex would get an email telling him, hey, you have a code review request. Alex can also go directly into his browser Okay, so here we're logged in as Alex, and Alex would now have access to this SQL dev project. And when he goes in here and he looks at his um, code reviews that are assigned to him, he would see this code review. So if we go in there, he can see the information I provided, okay, which commits are related to this. He can look at the changed files and compare them side by side or one on top of the other and specifically see exactly what the change was that was done. Okay. And he can give me a comment uh, on specific lines of code. So he can say, for example, uh, are you sure you don't want a shorter day? Okay. And save this comment. Okay. And he can also publish the comment. Yeah. At this point, me as Shai, I would get an email telling me, hey, someone just review your code. And I can go back into my code review, refresh the view here. Okay. And I can see the code review with the comment on the specific line. So this is also allowing me to do code reviews. Now that I'm done and I know that eh, that's okay, I can actually request to merge this back into the main line of code. Okay, so I'm going to squash the commit. I can delete this standalone branch and mark this issue as a resolved issue. So I click the merge and everything is going to be merged inside our developer cloud service instance. Okay, so now if you go back to the code view, okay, 
now we only have one branch we eliminated the other one if you go into the branch and into this file okay you would see the current version with the changes you made in addition if you go into the issue tracking okay and um, you can see the issues that are assigned to me marked as result so now i'm free to take on the next issue